This is uh, the picture of us. Uh, we just uh, beaten uh, Gregor Robertson and uh, some city councillors in, in a game at uh, Moberly Park. This is, a, I guess, just uh, last summer. Yeah, it was a really exciting day because we'd been planning this game for an awful long time. And, uh, you know, it was a very intense game and people were like, yay, you know, really, really like we were all out of our minds. Last two minutes, we were down one goal and we scored two goals and won. So this is a, a pure success caught in a little still picture. I can guarantee you that. All people are, are you know, in, in some way one step away from being homeless, one mental illness or one, you know, financial job loss away from being homeless. It's uh, the place where the team was born here at the New Fountain Shelter. When I started working here, we decided, hey, you know what, it'd be great to have a program at the shelter where, you know, people could go out and do something fun. And so we sort of pitched different ideas and thought, you know what, we should see if people, there's any interest in people playing soccer um, at the shelter. So we put up a sign-up sheet and, and uh, you know, it's the staff and some of the residents were, were really, really excited about it. Lots of time, lots of time, sorry, lots of time. So uh, street soccer has been around in Vancouver for about two years or so. And I actually found out about Street Soccer uh, on Facebook. Just a friend of mine uh, had something about that team, and so I started coming out and volunteering, uh, kind of as like an assistant coach for that team. And then around the team that, that around the time that that team uh, stopped practicing, this team started up, and so I became the coach of this team. We really uh, believe that we're here to help people that maybe nobody else can or will help. And uh, I've been playing for uh, almost a year. I think. I joined last summer. And I really believe in uh, sport therapy, and I think sports are very important in people's lives. We made it as easy as we could to for people to join the team. Um, people are tired, you know, they've been maybe out in the street for a long time, and um, so just getting people, you know, back into the shelter, getting them a roof over their head, and, um, you know, some stability and some food, a couple meals a day, and then, you know, getting back into, um, doing something fun. There was a street paper and they put it in the street paper and I walked past the newspaper, I picked it up and it was about football so I read it and had a contact number so I contacted them immediately and he's like, yeah, come join the teams, we got practices here and I'm like, that's good. And so I was on the team since. These people are shunned from everybody. Uh, um, are going through uh, rough stuff on a daily basis, some of them on an hourly basis, and these people are born with very, very, a lot of difficulties. Uh, they've been uh, beaten up, uh, they've been, uh, you know, uh, thrown through a lot of stuff, a lot of tough stuff, and to, to just get a job, it's easy to say. But when you're molested at age five or something, maybe job is not the first thing on your mind. Maybe we should bring you to the community. Maybe we should install love back into you. Well, people don't usually look at me and see a homeless person. They, they just usually see a regular person. But when I get on my gear and they see a homeless person, I don't like being in that, in that category like I was when I was in D.C. sleeping outside. And... Like, they think that, you know, there's something wrong with you, that, you know, you got all these drug problems and other problems, and so I, you know, I feel, I feel normal when I go out and play football. Like, I don't have to think about the shelter or what's going on there today, or some of the Looney Tunes that are in there, what they're going to do. You know, I just think about the ball, think about kicking the ball, passing the ball, shooting. Uh, so I think that, that gets my mind off of it. With sports and with soccer, that's what we're trying to do get them life back together, get some value, get them from the ground that they've fallen so hard. And then with a little bit of sports, a little bit of running and passion and love, you know, something good will happen. I really love it. I, I love it when I see them, when I give them high fives and stuff. 
It's really like a family now. I, I really am concerned about their lives, what they do, uh, how can I help them, you know, it's, it's, it's really tight family and, and makes, me, makes me smile every day.